Hello, my name is Jimmy Costello from the NX product marketing team, and today I'm going to be going over how you can implement cooling channels into your mold designs in NX. As you can see on the screen, we have display casing which is created by injection mold methods. I have the overall mold system pulled up in a separate window. Specifically, for our purposes today, I'm going to take a look at the cavity side of the mold. This subassembly has also already been loaded into a separate window. As you can see, when I open this subassembly, we have the mold itself and a sketch which will be the pattern we are modeling our cooling channels after. A great tool to take this sketch and create an adaptive channel for a part is the conformal cooling curve tool found under the conformal cooling tab. Creating a conformal channel rather than a conventional channel is very beneficial as cooling time is significantly reduced and a better overall part consistency is provided. When I click on the conformal cooling curve tool, we are prompted to select the faces the channels will be projected onto and the curves that will be followed. One important thing to note is that in order to have the tubes displayed rather than just the curves, the Keep Tubes checkbox under Settings must be selected. After we have done this, we can go ahead and select OK and hide the buffer on which the new conformal channels were projected onto. The next thing I want to look at is how we can create more channels that will help to bring our conformal channels out of the mold. To do this, I'm going to use the Direct Channel tool found under the Mold Wizard tab. When using Direct Channel, there are a wide variety of customization options. But for this instance, I'm just going to create channels that go up and away from the mold. The first thing we are prompted to do is select a starting point for our channel. Once this is selected, we can drag the coordinate system in the direction that we would like our channels to extend. Rather than trying to line up our channels with the edge of the part, we can finish once both channels have been created. The next tool I want to explore is the Extend Channel tool. This tool can be used to help finish any existing channels. The first change I want to make with the Extend Channel tool is to round off the bottom of the direct channels. To do this, we must simply select the channel, set the tip end around, and click Apply. In order to bring our channels to the edge of the part, we simply must select the boundary that they will extend to and the channels which we are extending. This is a very convenient tool for tying up loose ends and finalizing your cooling channel creations. The last thing I want to do before finishing is mirror these channels to match the other side of our mold. To do this, we can use mirror geometry, select our channels in an axis of symmetry, and we have a completed cooling channel system on this cavity side of the mold. In conclusion, in this video, we began by exploring conformal cooling curves to help project our existing sketch design. After that, we used both direct channel and extend channel to complete our channels to the edge of our mold. And finally, we wrapped everything up by mirroring the channel system to cover the other half of the mold. I would like to thank you for your time and attention.